Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to learn Python. So Python is an efficient, easy to use programming language. And Python is used for data processing, websites and even games. So what is Python? Python is a text-based programming language, not the snake of course. And you can see there's a picture of a snake and a, I just crossed it out. So this is Python's logo. This is what it actually looks like. What is a programming language? In case you haven't seen my Scratch videos, a programming language is when you tell it a machine instructions what to do. So if you want to see my Scratch videos, there's a link in the description. Why Python? Python is the easiest language out of them all, but equally beneficial out of the hundreds and thousands of languages. So what is IDLE? And it stands for Integrated Development Environment. So IDLE is a free software you can use for Python. So this is how IDLE looks like. Uh, this was taken in 2006, so obviously it doesn't look like this right now. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to show you how to install IDLE right now. It is different for different operating systems, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to first show you how to do it on Mac, which is the computer I have. So go to the search browser up here and type in Python and then press enter. So you load into this website called python.org. So now you go to download and then you click that. Then it will say download the latest version for and it will say which type of computer you have. So then it will say download Python and the version you have right now. Mine is 3.91. If you're watching this in the future, it's probably going to be different. So what you need to do is click that and you'll see it will say Python and the version you have. So you click that once it's loaded. And I'll say opening. So what you need to do is click continue, click continue, click continue. Then you have to click agree. So after that, it will show a pop-up on the screen. And what that pop-up is going to ask you is ask for your username and password. And remember, if you don't know your username and password, you can ask your parents. And also, you need to remember to ask your parents before downloading this. So after you click install, you see it will just download and then there's this bar over here and you see mine is nearly loaded all right guys so once you have installed python press command space and type in idle then press enter and you will see idle loading into the screen all right so if you're on windows you have to go to the same website python.org and it will say download the latest version for windows and you have to click download and the latest version then it will load down here and once it's loaded you have to click that all right so it will only say upgrade if you already have it but if you don't have it it will say install so it will show this screen over here that means you have successfully downloaded python and windows so what you need to do is click close now and you can see the search uh, button up here. You have to type idle there. All right, so you load into the idle shell. All right, so before we start typing anything right now, we're gonna learn how to say something in Python. So it says print hello world, but we're just gonna look at the syntax first. So before we start, you'll see these three greater than symbols over here. So this is the command prompt, and this is where you can type things in. So first we have to type print. So print is a ready-made function in order to print something. So over here you can see it says hello world. So this is the message we want Python to print. Okay, so you can see there is quotes and parentheses before and after the speech. All right guys, so now we're gonna try that command out. So we need to type print. 
print, then begin your parentheses, then add quotes. So you can either add double quotes or single quotes, it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to use double quotes right now, and I'm going to type hello world, exclamation mark. Then we're going to end our quotes and end our parentheses. Now we need to press enter, it will say hello world. But let's try if it works, if it's single quotes. So we're going to type print again, then instead of double quotes we're going to use single quotes, then we're going to say the same thing, hello world, exclamation mark. Now we're going to end the quotes and the parentheses, and we're going to press enter. So it's going to say syntax error. This is because we started with single quotes, and we didn't end with single quotes. So we have to end with the same quotes. All right, everybody, we got the same quote at the start and at the end. So let's see what happens. So we'll say, hello, well, the same thing. All right, so what you can do is I'm just going to type print again, and you can write whatever you want that's inside the quote. For example, I'm going to say, are you enjoying Python so far? Question mark. And we're going to end the quotes again and end the brackets or parentheses. Parentheses just means brackets, by the way. So it's going to say, are you enjoying Python so far? So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I know this stuff is really basic right now, but later we're going to get into more complicated stuff. So bye.